now we are on to the H4 block and I've got all my pieces prepped. So how I'm going to assemble this is I'm going to assemble this middle bits and then I'm going to most likely put one of these on at a time and attach it to the middle and the same for here. So it's not that many pieces so it shouldn't take that long to assemble. Okay, so now I'm going to baste my middle and I have cut a notch here almost to the paper and I'm going to baste and put the glue on the outside edge. I'm going to baste this into the middle. And the same thing here. Now when you go to stitch this, you don't want to stitch where this cut is. You want to stitch around it without making it fray, which is a little bit of a trick. But when you go to quilt it, it should be reinforced at that time. So then I'm going to do this side. Sometimes it's a little nitpicky. And then I'm going to glue this down and then go to this side and work my way in. Make sure that I have a tight edge. And the same on this side. Oh, that didn't get enough glue, so I'll put a little bit more there. Now it's got a wrinkle in it, so I'll just pick it up and re-tack re it down. There we go. And then I'm going to face this guy. I'm going to do opposite ends. So I'm going to do this side. And then I'm going to do this other side. Because people have been asking me about how I do the basting. And how I do my tags. Basically, I come up with a with a um, plan for a specific shape and then I stick with it for every block. And then my tags are where my tags are. And I usually have to pick these up so it doesn't make for a great great videoing but anyway. So then I will continue to do that when I baste these pieces, I will baste the short side first, and then this side, and then this side. I like to do the long end last. I'm not sure why, I just got that habit, so I just like to do it that way. Okay, so I have this connected to this with my stitches on the back. And when I connected this, I made sure that the middle was in place and then I taped it. My tags were where they were. So I can stitch this. I can stitch this to connect these points so that my tags don't show as much. Once I have this connected, I'll be able to put on my side pieces. Okay, so now I'm going to add the sides. I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to line it up here in the corner. I've moved the tags out of the way so they're pointing straight down. And so I'm going to line it up best I can in the corner. It gets really narrow down there. But then I'm going to look here on the bottom where it meets. It meets right here and um, do the best that I can. So I'm just going to kind of position it and put my tape on. And then I'm going to start. Uh, going to start stitching. I like to start stitching from this kind of a point, and work my way in because if I end here, it's a little fiddly just for my fingers. So I like to start at this narrow end and work my way down. But you can do whatever you want. Okay, so this one landed a little shy of the point 
but I can fix, we can fix that. Well, I can fix that um, when I go to add this other one. So I'm going to position, this is my, my last piece, and um, I'm going to line it up at the corner as best I can. And then it's pushing a little bit here, but I am going to make it hit where I want it to go. So the issue is at this point where everything meets. So let me line this part up first, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's line this part up first. And then that way, this point is lined up here. And then we can finagle it with our stitches to where it should be. And then this will end up. This will end up somewhere. Um, yep, that looks like it's going to end up okay. So I will push down my tape and get this stitched. Once I get to this point, I'm just going to pull the stitches to where it needs to be to make it look decent. Just a note about stitching this. I've stitched it from one end to here and I tied off. And then I'm just coming back here and stitching to the corner and around to connect to this. I do this whenever I connect one piece to two or more pieces so that I know that it's on each end, it's where it needs to be. If you're connecting two pieces that are solid, then you don't have to worry about that as much. But if you're connecting one piece to two or more pieces, you do need to worry about that because of the fact that there's a seam there.